Star Bays, it's your girl Brit Brack on live with the Bree Talk. And baby, we got to talk about Funky Dineva Ross claiming that Nene Leaks is appropriating gay culture. Child. Now, before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Baby, let's get into this mess. Somebody needs to call her and tell her to take this down. Then you made these big old fuss about Bravo not giving you a spinoff. And this was the prime opportunity for you to potentially show what a Nene Leak spinoff would have potentially looked like, what one of them could have potentially looked like. And this is the best that you got, this caricature of you playing uh, Paris is Bernie, 1987 sissy. With all of this and yes, honey. And, and, and girl, you got on three different outfits for three different occasions at the same damn time, confusing the entire dog fuck out of me. I know Wendy Williams is somewhere high as hell on the line with Andy laughing at, laughing like crazy while texting Tyra Banks and being like, girl, why Nene got your name in her mouth? Somebody and what in the Sweet 16 Ken Sierra opening dance number was this? <laughs> I'm going to give my read and then I'm going to give Vanna White. And then the camera, the iPhone 7, is going to pan to the next person. I creep. If you came for a read, come see me. I'm just so happy to be with Nene Leakes in this abandoned restaurant. I'm going to let her embarrass me on TV too. That's a read. I met Nene Leakes at Kroger and she asked me to show up to this abandoned building and do this show. I thought a high bitch said something. Let me tell you something. A high bitch said something and what? Recession, honey. I found my readers, honey, right here in Atlanta, Georgia. And be talking about all the hot topics honey. no one knew you until you knew me when you're looking for the light in the room just know i'm the brightest in the room reading class 101 is always a session because i stay reading a bitch they say i'm too much but the truth is they will never be enough if you're coming for a read sit back and watch me leave so guys, what do you think about the reports that came out uh, about Tyra Banks saying that she didn't want any housewives on Dancing with the Stars, in particular, <laughs> Nene Leakes, Bethany Frankel, and Teresa Judice? Well, let me go first. <laughs> Tyra, I thought you and I were cool, girl. I was on Dancing with the Stars before you were. Okay. Is she the executive of that show to be making those calls? I think Tyra could use a little bit of housewife fame so she can get her notoriety up. Absolutely. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, absolutely. That's interesting. But as a business person, mm -hmm. um, she should want to have people like housewives absolutely. on the right. show because people are always talking about them, right? Mm -hmm. And then topic. they can talk about them over on that platform absolutely. and it'd be a good thing for both parties. Oh, Tyra, girl, you can't smudge your way up out of this. See, word on the curb is you did not want the Real Housewives on Dancing with the Stars now that you have a producer credit. Girl, let me find out you on some Shawnee O'Neal stuff. You're not supposed to be doing that, Black Queen. You're supposed to be uplifting. Let me find out you pulling a Karen. As for Mr. Funky Dineva Ross, a.k.a. Q, baby, you really tried it. This is what pandering looks like, and this is why I always tell Black women, protect your image at all costs. Because it was all fun and games when the men could profit off of us, exploit our image, you know, exploit the, the lows of us and the highs for a good coin. I mean, I don't even have to name off a few. Joanna, man, y'all remember? Remember that? Martin, Shanene, RuPaul's Drag Race, Chu Wang Fu. Now, I will say this. I don't care about that because, you know, they got their little coin and it is what it is. But the moment a black woman decides to flip it and make a profit for herself, all of a sudden it's 
gay appropriation cute you really tried it like are you thinking are you in there doing the party favors because you know this is the ultimate reach the ultimate reach especially from the likes of you where do you get your image and your ideas from it's not the karens the ling lings and the guadalupes it's from black women see this is what i'm talking about and this is why so many women say they don't want gays in their spaces because y'all do stuff like this y'all show y'all hand the massage noir the toxic masculinity of it all you really went on your platform and thought you said something you're always using your platform to tear down a black woman or a black child. Child, the self-hate is real in you, baby. Instead of doing party favors, you need to go lay on somebody's couch and really work it out because the yoga is starting not to work, boo. But those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. Comment down below and I gotta go. Bye, hoes.